Right, so Correct. It had the sternum, manu manubrium, and it had a cervical and a thoracic. And then so now when I think we it's just arrive at the lab, we sort of start with a box um, that has some burial component in it, right? And empty out the box, sort through it. Oftentimes, there's remains of multiple different burials in the box. So we've got to get that sorted out. Sometimes there's remains of non-human animals in the box. We have to get that sorted out. Most of the times, um, it's just bone fragments. So we sift through these remains, these fragments of bones, and we try and get all the bones that have diagnostic features on them, and we try and lay them out, and um, then we do some analysis on them. What we do is we inventory and we age and sex, and we also take um, account for any pathological um, characteristics, so disease or anything along the lines of fracturing or trauma as well. I'm looking at that age range, nine months to about seven years, because I decided to look at vertebral fusion. So on your vertebrae, you have the main part of your vertebrae, and then you have the little, you know, arches that come along and create your spine. And at that age, they're all kind of separate. And uh, one thing I'm looking at is neurocentral fusion, which is when the arches of the vertebrae fuse to the center. Being, you know, a veteran in the lab, I still am asking questions. I ask as much questions as everyone else, but it's nice to also be that person that some people turn to. Dr. Celeste Guyon, being confident in me, it, it makes me feel as if I'm ready for the next step, which is graduate school for me. And having a larger crew, it's an advantage to have a graduate student and a student who's experienced because then there's other people besides just me to help the students who are sort of new to the work and haven't done it before, don't have quite as much experience. We wanted to try and sort them out between yeah. the different ones, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you don't get that many individuals preserved that are over 50, yeah. right? Or that we can tell are over 50. Yeah. So we just lump them as a sort of group. and. So oh, I really like working with Celeste. She's a great teacher, a great mentor. She's always there to help and help you understand how she came to the answer or how that she knows that this bone fragment is what it is. She's the real deal, like in terms of bioarchaeology, like that's legitimately what she does. So it's really nice to be able to talk to her and like if I have questions, she's She's on it. She's like, yeah. Sometimes it gets long in the lab, and we can be get a little stir crazy. Bunch of lunatics. It's a circus. But you know, when you're in field school with the same people for five weeks in the same house and you do everything together. There's never not a moment we're not laughing or having fun. When you travel around, you get kind of a, a confidence about yourself. It's been pretty difficult to learn Spanish, but I feel like I'm picking up a little bit more and how to pronounce them especially has gotten much easier. Um, so yeah, but it's been, it's been fun but difficult at the same time. People are so friendly. Even though you're different and they know you're different, they're still so friendly. There's never a moment you feel as if you don't belong. We are just having this great experience in a different country and we're kind of all learning something new together and I think that's one of the most rewarding experiences. We're all here for the same thing, is to learn and, and, and grow as people and I think that's really what we're doing and I, I see it through everyone.
<laughs> Spiders are where I draw the line. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the same way. Oh, All right. <laughs>